Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and this is going to be a full removal guide for the AKM Antivirus Pro, uh, or Antivirus 2010 Pro. This is a uh, malicious and false uh, antivirus program. Uh, it All it will do is show misleading results uh, on your computer. This, again, is just nothing more than a scam, your regular rogue client that's out there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And if you did purchase this client, uh, you can head over to removevirus.org. We got a few guides on there about purchasing uh, what what you do if you do accidentally purchase a, a fake client, not knowing it was fake. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down some of these windows that are up. And I was able to bring up my task manager. If you ha were unable to bring up your task manager, just continue wa watching the video and we'll discuss other ways of, of actually removing and stopping this client. Uh, to bring that up, I held down Control, Shift, Escape at the same time. If you're using XP, it'd be Control, Alt, Delete. Uh, but again, that's Control, Shift, Escape to bring up the task manager in Windows 7 and Windows Vista. And this guide will work on XP as well. However, the file paths will be a little bit different, and we'll go over that uh, closer in the end, or you can always read our manual guide. So one of the first things you're going to notice is you're going to have the AKM Antivirus 2010 Pro.exe running, and also the ALGGUI.exe running as well. And we did notice a few others that were up there, like a CLMLSVC.exe. However, if you were to stop both of these processes, you're going to notice that they just keep coming back. So if I were to go ahead and click on it and just end process, and uh, the AKM antivirus end process, it's actually going to shut down the client. So I won't have it running right now on my system. We'll see it here that it disappears, right? However, if we wait just a minute or two, it's going to pop back up on us. So let's go ahead and wait that that uh, quick second here. We'll see that that these came back up on us already, and it's going to pop up again on us. And this is because one of your SVC host files are infected. So I'm going to close these windows down again. Is what we need to do is we need to kill the process here. So I'm going over to the SVC host. Now, most of these that you may have several of them running, and most of them will be legitimate. The ones we have on the Windows 7 and Vista that are the Star 32, I'll tell you off the bat that those are not the correct processes. Uh, for us, it's 876 and 848 is the uh, um, well, amount of memory it's taken, so that's not really going to be too much help to you. But that's what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to right click on it end process tree. That's very important because it's going to end all the processes that that particular file is going. So I'm going to hit that end process tree, end process tree. It'll say, hey, it's not valid. Go up to the other one, the second one that's there, and you need to do this relatively fast. End process tree, end process tree. Now you'll notice is what happened is it did totally remove and stop the, the, the actual AKM antivirus software. So we're good there right now. It's not currently running. Now our system is still infected. So, so what I want you to do, go down into the start menu, start, under the run command, type ms config, and as what this has done is it brought us the startup menu, and we'll see right here, this is the actual SVC host that's running. This is the the location in the registry is going to be right here and this is the command that it's running. So is what we're doing and this is for those individuals who are unable to bring up the task manager at all. You can also go into this and, and just follow the path with us here. Chances are your path is going to be the exact same. So it's going to be C users, um, XP people will we'll give the trace on on our uh, manual written guide. Uh, which is over at the removevirus.org website and we do have the manual guide as well if you just want to follow that we'll have these file traces over there too on the removevirus.org website what a time no I don't want to make a system disk don't remind me so the location here I have already have it I've already made a copy of it earlier Go onto the start menu, opening up computer, and you may notice if you have been unable to stop 
the AKM antivirus software, you may notice that it's going to be there a few times. Uh, or you may have to open up computer a few times. Another way to do it is, well, I'll get through this first. I'm going to copy and paste the location in here. So under C colon backslash users, the username, my username is Jacob, app data, roaming, Microsoft, Windows, and you will not be able to browse directly to the app data folder unless you unhide your system files, but once you go into this folder, you'll be able to browse down to the rest of it. Let's go ahead and go here under startup menu. So I did that path all the way down there, and there it shows SV host. Is what I want to do is actually right click on that and delete that file. And I already did stop it uh, using our task manager. If you were unable to stop it or were unable to bring up the test measures, what I'd like you to do there is to right click on that and rename the SV host file whatever you want. Just rename it. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the AKM antivirus pro icon. Let's go ahead and right click on it. I'm going to select properties. It's a little bit um, out, of, out of the screen range here. And here we're going to see the actual start in area as well. So let's go ahead and copy this. Let's go back over to Windows Explorer. Where was I at? I think right here. Let's drop through this again. Programs. There's another trace right there. Let's delete that. I'm going to copy in the path from before. There it is again. Let's go ahead and delete that. So at this point in time, we, we got the vast majority of the program. I can delete this now. The icon on my desktop. Where we're to sum it up, it's very important to run a full security scan uh, using whatever favorite client you have. As I already stated, we like a Spyro Doctor with antivirus. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the Windows registry here. I do not recommend most people do this. Um, however, this is a full removal guide, so this is for educational purposes only. We're going into reg, edit, in the run command. And you want to go to, I believe it's going to be H key current users software. You're going to see the folder right there, AKM uh, uh, 2010 Antivirus Pro. We want to go ahead and delete that whole folder and all of its sub keys. And that's it for, for, for that. Now there is still one trace left over here and I found that out by running the Spyro Doctor with Antivirus. So application uh, cookies and tracking really isn't a big deal. However, this is, if you notice, we did remove one of the uh, SVC host files already, but this is a second SV host file that we actually found. Uh, there were two listed in the task manager, and I forgot all about that. And that's why it's so important to run a security scan, uh, just to find out, is there anything else on there uh, besides just this AKM antivirus? There may be uh, multiple different Trojans on your system and the like, so it's very important to run a full scan. Um, if you find this too hard to remove, I highly recommend uh, OnlineComputerRepair.org. Those who have watched our videos before know that uh, uh, we recommend them out a lot. They are experts at removing viruses, and they can do it online for a very cheap price. Um, it's it's the real way to go. So I'm going to go ahead and browse down to the users, Jacob App Data Roaming SVC Host, and Jacob would be your username, whatever you're under. And I'm there, and we're going to also notice that, hey, we still have this ALG GUI from before so let's go ahead and delete that and there should be the SV hosts in here maybe I already removed it yeah it appears that I already did delete it I got a little bit ahead of myself and, and did already delete that trace that is it and we did remove this already that file trace so let me go ahead and reboot and make sure we're good so I just got done restarting my computer and I went ahead and I ran uh, several scans uh, using multiple antivirus clients and it appears we did fully remove the AKM uh, antivirus from our system. 
So we are good to go there. Again, if you have questions, uh, ask them on removevirus.org in the AKM removal guide. We also have the manual traces listed there too as well that you can copy and paste from and the like. If you cannot remove this yourself, head on over to onlinecomputerrepair.org and one of the experts over there will be able to remove it for you too as well. Uh, it's a, a very good company based out in California. All the workers are U.S. and highly skilled. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you were able to remove this uh, bogus security client from your system. Take care.